I've just come back from a meeting of the Conference of Presidents here in the European Parliament in Brussels, and I was there to represent the Independence and Democracy Group. Our guest for the day was none other than my old friend, President Barroso of the European Commission, and he was there to talk about the crisis, the gas crisis, the fact that the pipeline from Russia through the Ukraine is not delivering sufficient gas to Eastern Europe, and that yesterday there were hundreds of thousands of homes without any heating at all. He explained that the row that was going on between the Ukrainians and between the Russians was so serious that he was not optimistic that there'd be a short-term solution now. After he'd spoken, there was a chance for the group leaders to talk, and I said, uh, wasn't it extraordinary to think that we'd pinned our faith on building tens of thousands of windmills all across Northern Europe, and that today, because of the big anti-cyclone, not a single one of them was turning, um, and wasn't it time we rather turned our backs on this stupid policy? Well, he didn't give me an answer on that, but what he did say was very interesting. He said that he'd asked yesterday the governments of Europe how big their stockpiles of gas and oil were, because we would need, through European solidarity, to help the Eastern European countries who hadn't got supplies. He said he was disappointed that he hadn't had many answers back, from national governments. He said this showed the need why we have to have a common energy policy. And remember, that common energy policy is part of the Lisbon Treaty. He said we have to ensure that we can pull stocks together in a crisis so that we can help out people who are struggling. He called for the mutualization of energy stocks. Now that's effectively the same as EU nationalization of energy stocks. And what it means for Britain is, of course, in an emergency, North Sea oil and gas could be taken to be a common European resource. Well, perhaps we shouldn't be so surprised, because for 30 years, the fish that swim in our seas have been a common European resource, and we're only allowed to catch less than 20% less than by value of those fish. And that prospect, that real prospect, if the Lisbon Treaty goes through, faces us with North Sea oil and gas. Uh, I'm just hoping that one of these issues will be the straw that breaks the camel's back, that one of these issues will make the British people realise we are getting a rotten deal out of membership of the European Union, and it's high time that we, the British people, had a referendum to decide our own future and not to have these decisions made for us by our governments. To find out more about who we are and what we stand for, go to the UK Independence Party website at www.ukip.org.